Hello. Hi, one person. <laughs> uh, how are you doing this fine evening? Take a sip of drink. Hello, hello. It's off to work we go. <laughs> ah, two people. Hello. Welcome. You ready to have some card making fun tonight? Oh, we lost somebody. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got somebody back. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Slow night tonight. Oh, we jumped to four. Hi, everybody. Somebody's got to be there. Let me know who you are. Oh, we're back down to two. This is crazy. One, two, four, two. We're going to be making some cards tonight. I have um, hmm, three or four cards. They're not going to be super hard, but uh, they have a little stuff to them. Hi, Philomena. Yay, somebody said hi to me. <laughs> How are you doing, Philomena? How is your weather? Ours is rainy and damp and cold. And I think tomorrow is supposed to be not raining, but still cold. And then Thursday is supposed to go to like 53 and raining again or something. I don't know. Crazy weather. Bouncing all over the place. Wow, I'm dropping people again. Crazy. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Nix. Welcome. How are you doing? How's your weather, Nix? Thank you for the thumbs up, by the way, whoever. Much appreciated. Raining, yeah. It's been misty raining all day here. Yesterday it rained pretty hard. Today's been just misty, but it's cold. It's cold rain, you know. Oof. Hi, Brandy. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I guess we'll get started. It's okay today. Minus 19 below forecast. Wow. That's cold. <laughs> or minus 19 below forecast of 53 or something. That wouldn't be as bad. But minus 19 is, that's too cold for me. I can't, I, I can't uh, handle that anymore, I don't think. Thankfully, my oil delivery came this morning because I'm starting to get a little worried. And whenever it gets down to a quarter tank, I start to worry. But I'm on automatic delivery, so I didn't call. I thought I'll wait a couple days. And he actually woke me up sometime between seven and seven thirty this morning. I heard the I heard a noise. And I'm like, what is that? And then I looked out the one window, and it was the oil guy. So yay! So I don't have to worry about not having heat unless the electricity goes off. <laughs> Bones are aching already. Yeah, I get it. Hi, Terry. 38 days till spring. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And and in March, we have, well, in our area, we have daylight savings time again starting. So, yay. I mean, I guess I wish they would just leave it on daylight savings time. <laughs> yeah, I thought the groundhog saw a shadow, but I don't know. It's been a mild winter so far. Can't. Can't go by that punk's tawny Phil guy. <laughs> All righty. So if you did not order Paper Pumpkin by yesterday, you can't get the February one, um, which is a shame because it's going to be fun. But guess what? March is going to be a special one. So you don't want to miss out on March. This is a sneak peek of the box. The name of it's going to be No Matter the Weather. And it's going to bring the joys of spring. And in addition to the regular stamp set, there will be a four by six inch stamp set in it as well. That you don't need to make the kit, but it's an extra stamp set. 
And, uh, oh, he didn't see a shadow? Wow. I live in Pennsylvania, and I'm not even... <laughs> anyway. Um, so, it makes 12 note cards, which I wrote down somewhere. I think they're five by three and a half inches, um, but 12 of them um, for each of three designs. So, whatever the regular stamp set is, is all you need to make those note cards. But you'll get an extra stamp set they've done this once before that i know of last year um but i don't know what it's going to be the extra stamp set i have no clue but the box looks pretty it has clouds and rain boots and yeah so no matter the weather um, i do have the colors i posted them on my well i don't have them here i posted them in my facebook group um so, yeah, I don't have them printed out here, so I can't tell you what they are. But there was, like, a whole slew of them. I think Pool Party was one of them. No, Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green. I don't remember the rest of them. So that's that. Um, you have from now till March 10th to sign up to get that kit. Okay? So if you want this new... Um, no matter the weather, bringing the joys of spring, which I'm so ready for, except then it means I have to start mowing lawn again. Eesh, I don't know. Um, and get your free stamp set. Sign up before March 11th or you will, I'm sorry, March 10th or you will miss out. So between February 11th and March 10th, sign up for Paper Pumpkin. And if you pre-order three, six or 12 months between now and then, um, You'll not only get, you know, your pumpkin coming to you without further charges in the, in the future months, but you'll also be eligible for celebration items. So let's jump to that. The initial celebration, as you know, is going from January 3rd to March 31st. Um, one thing I want to mention is the, um, where is it? The honeybee paper is currently the golden honey paper specialty paper is right now not orderable they've had an overwhelming demand for that one um so it's not orderable right orderable right now and i have heard also with these issues with china that some things that are on back order could take longer than normal to get i hope i hope not but um we heard that a couple weeks ago now, the Kerchief card kit was on Not Orderable, but it's not on that list anymore. So I think that's available now as a celebration item. Otherwise, I think everything in celebration is okay. Um, the coordination product release, which is things you have to buy that go with celebration items, are available to you now. That started February 4th while supplies last. We're going to be using this one called Sending Flowers Dies in my final card. I just got it today. So we're going to be doing it together. And we use the ladybug ones that I have last week. I don't have the Nature's Thoughts ones or the Special Day Dies because I don't have that stamp set. And let's see, um, the Birthday Cake Dies I don't have. But I do have Please Just Punch Paper. And we might use a couple of these pretty flowers on here tonight. I'm not sure. We'll see how things go. Okay. And then starting in March, March 3rd to March 31, there's going to be round two celebration. And about the middle of the live, I will show you four of the five products from that because I got them today. And they're they're really cool. <laughs> okay, let's see. What did I miss? Everybody saying hi. Okay. Okay, good. Yep, talk to each other. All righty. So you ready for the first card? Hopefully, let me get my bin. Here's my bin. Now, I brought in some stuff from the annual catalog as well. Oops. Um, as in the follow your art paper. And I made two cards. Um, this uses the button button embossing folder. And a sponge brayer. And 
let's see. Um, this kit, which is, it's a follow your art embellishment kit. Follow your art. Hang on. I put my pearls in here. I can't get them out. Which is little felt pieces and um, twine. I got pearls out to use. And the stamp set we're going to be using is this Seriously the Best. I really like these larger fonts. And then we're going to use the smaller one, this one here, on the inside of the card. So the first ones I did, this one is in Pacific Point which is a, a blue in the Brights family. And I stamped Hello Friend in Pacific Point. And I brayered Pacific Point, um, 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 Coastal Cabana, and Crushed Curry. And it was okay. And then this paper has those coordinating colors in it from the Follow Your Art, Follow Your Art paper. And then these little embellishments are from that kit. And then these little embellishments are from the, I thought I had them out, Holiday Rhinestones. Hang on. Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels in the Coastal Cabana, which carried over. They're on the web. I did check that. So I used three of those. And then inside I just stamped, you're seriously the best. And I did that with a Stamparatus, but I see I got it kind of wavy <laughs> and a scrap of paper. Hi, Clay. Hi, Shirlene. And then the second one I did on Calypso Coral. And I did a whole sheet like I did this with the button button. But then I brayered it in Blushing Bride. But my, my uh, brayer was dirty. So I got a clean one out. And I didn't like how it looked, so I flipped it upside down, put Blushing Bride at the bottom, then Crushed Curry, and then Calypso Coral. And then this is out of the Stitch So Sweetly dies that are in the mini catalog. And I used this one. Then a piece of the twine and this little star out of the kit. And then three, um, six basic white pearls, basically. And inside, same thing, you're seriously the, the best. So I have a thanks and a hello friend that are both, you're seriously the best. But I have a lot of people that I know that are seriously the best. Um, so, but what we're going to do is we're going to do it on Blushing Bride this time. I've already run this through the embossing folder, button, button, which I don't know what I did. Oh, here it is. So it looks like that. All buttons and we are going to brayer it and then I picked out I have this paper so we could either use the pens or I thought maybe we'd use these scissors because we're gonna have color on here and maybe put it this way this time and then we're gonna do the thanks and probably that same die um, cut it out thank you Brandy Hi, everybody that joined. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so let's brayer this first. Put these pieces out of the way. Let me get my inks out here. All right. Um, so I'm still, you have to, even though we have the mini catalog going on and the celebration catalog, we um, I need a piece of scrap paper too. We can't forget about the annual. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to start like I did with the one with the Blushing Bride. Because it's pale. It's pretty pale. And we're just going to brayer it onto here. And then it's magic. Magic. I'm going to get it pretty good up along the edges and everything. It looks much better this time than it did the first time I did it on the other one because I had a dirty brayer and I. Yes, it would be great for a teacher appreciation gift or somebody that sews or just really us crafty people, you know. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm going to do on Blushing Bride. And I'm going to try and get as much of that off before I go to get uh, crushed curry. Okay. 
I'm just going to use the same brayer. And I'm, I'm doing the yellow in the middle because I kind of want these, the, this and the Calypso Coral to, um, to show out the bottom. Like, although it won't matter as much if I have a vertical scrap. Um, why is that not picking up in there? There we go. I'll probably go back over that a little bit with the blushing bride to remove that line. Hi, Debbie Vignola. Welcome. How are you doing? What is it like in Florida? <laughs> Rainy there too? Or cold? Hope not. Now these sponge brayers are available at Stampin' Up. You get them like a box of I think four or something. No, no, you get two handles and I think four of the um, sponges, which you can take off and um, wash out and stuff. If you're not lazy like me <laughs> or busy, like we all are. Let me go up a little bit on that one. A little bit more down here. I don't, this is only like the second or third time I think I've done sponge brayering. Not raining. 79, seriously. I want to come visit you. <laughs> I want it to be 79, but where I don't have to mow lawn or anything. <laughs> I don't want to do yard work. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm trying to get the uh, Calypso Coral off because I want to do a little more Blushing Bride. All right. And then we'll do some stamping and then we'll do some assembling. Just want to do that to blend that first line down a little bit. But it's going to be mostly buried anyway. So I think that's pretty good. Yep. I think that's pretty good. Let me just, oops, I'll leave this here and move this. Tequila Sunrise. There you go. That sounds good too. <laughs> I don't know. Have I ever had tequila? I don't know if I've ever had tequila. Maybe once. I can't. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Fancy that. <laughs> Probably because I had tequila. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. You've been cold all day today. That was me on, uh, what is today, Tuesday? That was me on Sunday. Could not get warm. Okay, so let me bring my other pieces back in, whatever I did with them. All right. So what we're going to do is stamp our thanks. And hmm, we're using blushing bride. Let's see how this looks, first of all. Okay, do we want to do that or do we want to... Do, I don't want to use that. Maybe this and cut it down a little bit. Or we could do what I did on the first, the second card and kind of round it and leave some of the pink showing in the background. What do you think? Or we could put this across the middle. I actually like that, although it covers up the Calypso Coral then. Right now, I'm leaning towards that option. I'm not liking this is too much Calypso. I already used the pens. I think I want to use the scissors. Okay. And that's from, again, the Follow Your Art Designer paper in the annual catalog. So we're going to stamp thanks. And I think we'll do it in the <laughs> Blushing Bride, I guess. That's going to be light, though. Maybe we'll do it in Calypso Coral. 
scissors. Yeah, round it, Debbie says. Even round this one. Like, bring it in and round it. Because I'm going to have... Before I do that, let me stamp and um, do the um, die. Because then we can see how that will look with it like this or around it. Let me turn this over. I have this scrap of white paper here. These stamp really nice, really nice. And I have a, believe it or not, clean chamois. See, it looks terrible, but it's, I, I just cleaned it right before. Squeaky clean now. <laughs> Squeaky clean. Okay. All right. I have to get the die out and turn around and cut it. And again, these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies that are in the 2020 mini catalog. We're using this one. Which will go like this. Really pretty. Be right back. Right here. And I'm just have to find my cover. There we go. I'm running it through my big kick. And back just because that way it comes back to me. One day I'll get a an electric one again, like a vagabond two or something. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. And I'm just putting my die away so I don't lose it. I know it takes time, but okay. So now, let's see. If we're going to do that, we can round that or not and just have it like that. I kind of like that. Hi, Annie B. I'm glad you caught us too. Hmm. Or I could bring it in a little bit and round it. All right, I'll, I'll round this. Um, actually, I have to cut it to size first. Let me get the trimmer. So I need it to be four and an eighth, actually. Which I think is the same size as this, I hope. Yep. <laughs> And that is the new Stampin' Up! trimmer, by the way, in case anybody didn't know. And it worked fine, although I've been using it very heavily. And thank goodness I got my blades in today because I need to change the blade soon. But, um, yeah. Alrighty. And this is the detailed trio punch, which has a corner rounder, a little oval hole for tags, and decorative edge. All right, let's see how we did with that. Maybe have to cut it shorter, or we could even, maybe we'll go like that and this. I think I like that better because that way the um, Crush Curry shows too, and we'll bump this up on dimensionals. I think we have a plan. All right, now time to glue it all down. As soon as I figure out what I do with my glue. Here it is. <laughs> it fell over. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Have you been making any jewelry, Annie? I, I've been missing it if you have. I thought I saw one video pop in, but I didn't have time to watch it when I saw it pop up. I haven't been getting the like bead box bargains and stuff, bargain bead box and stuff anymore because I have too much right now. <laughs> anyway. Okay, this one we're going to glue down. And this we're going to bump up on dimensionals. I could, you could use foam tape since this is big, but um, I have my dimensionals here, so I'll just use them. But I think I'm going to put two down the middle too because I don't like it when things go sagging on me. Yeah, I like the vertical better too. I like being able to see all three colors. 
Um, these are going to stick to me. My finger's sticky. Like the Rolling Stones song. <laughs> All right. And I think I'm going to lower that just a tad, like to there. Can we get it straight? Pretty straight. Okay, now to embellish, um, we have Calypso Coral Twine we can use. Or, um, now this is on back order right now, Whisper White. Um, it's a crinkled seam binding ribbon. Um, we could color that with Blushing Bride, but... I don't know if I'm going to like that on here. I think, oh, now I got a cat hair on me. <laughs> okay, I think we'll use a piece of this twine again like I did on the other one. And put a little bow here or maybe up here. And let's see what else we have, though. We have a heart. Yeah, everything is sticking to me. Glue on my finger. We have a heart. <laughs> or we have a star or a flower and we have another heart we could do a heart there and a heart there that's kind of cute or and then put the bow at the bottom what do you think oh thank you annie the saggy card is not great right just like saggy people like me <laughs> that's why i'm trying to uh do something about that I've been doing pretty good the last couple days since I started as far as eating. I haven't been eating much bad stuff. A little bit. Not much, though. But, I don't know. Dinner's going to be hard tonight. I might not eat what I'm going to make for my son because it has pasta, even though it's gluten-free pasta. Don't you think that'll be cute? And then, let's see. I don't know. We could put some pearls on, too, or something. Color some per we'll color some pearls maybe with blushing bride, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So to get these felt pieces on, I use glue dots, which look, they're almost done. Maybe they are done. Let me see. Yep, they are done. I have another one right here though, because I knew that was gonna run out. I just didn't realize it was out already. Thank you, Philomena. All right, let me get this long tail off. And I think we'll put two on here if it'll pick them up. There we go. Yep. And we'll put that right there. And one of these. Like that. And then one, which I'm going to. Just take my finger and roll a little bit so I can put it on the back of the twine. It's actually more like thread. I know if I can get it off my finger, that would be better. <laughs> and play with it till you get it where you want it. And then trim the little edges, the little ends, I mean. There we go. I'm not quite happy with that. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, to do the inside, we're going to stamp your seal. I really like that one. I think I like that better than the other two. What do you think? These are the first two. And then I really like this one better, I think. <laughs> okay, Debbie. Thank you. You can watch the replay if you want to have some other cards and announcements coming. So, anyway, we're going to bring in the Stamparatus, and hopefully I have this straight. Yep, this way. My Stamparatus is a little bit dirty. Well, let me just double, oops, put that down too low. Um, let me see. It looks a little crooked to me, so I'm going to play with it a little more. These long skinny strips give me more trouble than any of the others. I actually think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to stamp that in Calypso Coral too. I wonder what her show is. 
Don't forget, guys, to leave me a thumbs up, please, to help my channel a little bit. I'm over 2,600 now. I'd like to get to 3,000, and then I can do a giveaway. Probably a big giveaway. That looks very crooked to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yay. Not like it's like bendy crooked, which is the problem I have. I'm going to use my chamois and clean that, and then I'm going to try and get it straight before I flip it over. Let me stand up. down a little bit that looks pretty straight seriously wants to bend all right let's flip it over and try it we're going to be going with it whatever it is we're going with it yep that looks a little better i think all right we're going with it now, I don't think I have an extra piece of paper to go on the inside of this one, so we won't put one on the inside for this time. Because that was a scrap of that scissor paper, so we will just use it as it is. Let's see. If there's anything in that stamp set that we could use. Oh, we could. But it doesn't really go with it. Or... We can look in our little kit here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> not, not feeling it. Little star. We just do that. Sort of looks like a button almost anyway. Okay. So we'll do that. It'll add a little bulk in there, but not too much. Felt's not felt's not too bulky. If I can get the glue dot up. And then we'll just glue that down with wet glue. And that will be our card. Card number one. Well, actually, card number three, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I think they all came out pretty good. But I really think I like this one the best. Which one's your favorite? Should we put some pearls on this? We didn't do that. We should color some pearls and put them on. If I can get them out. There we go. So let's get... Hmm, blushing bride. No, we don't have that. Um, I guess we'll use Calypso Coral because I don't have blushing bride in blends. So we'll use dark Calypso Coral. And let's see where we're going to put them. Like maybe one here, one down here, and one over here, I think. So we'll need three. I guess we'll just do all little ones. I don't know if you can see see what I'm doing. I'm using the dark Calypso Coral alcohol marker called a Stampin' Blend. Just give them a minute to dry. Since they're alcohol, they dry pretty quick. <laughs> and... Except I flipped it over. Come on, Bubby. And we'll put that one right here. The um, putty on the thing wants to stick to it. <laughs> Let go. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> struggling, struggling tonight. There we go. Get the putty off my finger. Okay. And one here we said, and one down here. And I think that'll do it. There, cute, 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 cute. All right, so that is our first set of cards using the, seriously, the best stamp set. 
and the follow your art paper and the button button embossing folder really cute but use it clean make sure your brayer is clean I think I had some like leftover bluish gray or something on mine I thought I got it all off but I hadn't on the on this card and you see how it got kind of yucky down the bottom anyway so that is the first set yeah I do too Orange and yellow go good on cars. Lots of people, lots of people do, I think. I don't know. Thank you, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Didn't know you were there. <laughs> okay, so for card number two, I can figure out what I did with it. Here it is. Um, we're going to be doing kind of a similar thing in that we're going to use a stamp set from the mini catalog. But this time we're going to be using the Sea of, sea of Silhouette paper. Um, and the first card I did is this. So this is this is a really simple card. Sea of Silhouette paper. This is the back of that paper. Then I used the Leaf Punch and some Old Olive Scraps. And we'll do that tonight too. And then this I stamped in. This is on Pacific Point, which we're going to use again. Um, and these are old olive um, rhinestones out of the noble peacock rhinestones here. I always forget I have the old olive ones and I thought perfect time to use them. And then inside, I actually have this sort of upside down, but this is from this stamp set and I love this flower. I even love it in Pacific Point, but um, we're going to put it on the right way this time. It looks all right there, but... We're going to do it right this time. <laughs> Thank you. So that's what we're going to do next. Really simple card. So let me move this out of the way. Because I have everything on blocks already. And the card base is cut. Pacific Point Blue. And that is in the brights. And... We have our, let me take this out of here. We have our designer paper now. I thought about using this side because I think that's gorgeous too. But for this card, I'm going to stick with, with this side. And then we'll bring in that other side and on a band like I did on the other card. So that goes right across there. This is about hmm, one and a quarter inches by... Um, I think it's five and a quarter, five and a quarter. So this is five and a quarter by four. This is a scrap, but anyway. All right, so let me glue these down. This is a really easy card, but I think it's beautiful. Sometimes it doesn't have to be, you know, a difficult card to make to make it be a pretty card. The paper and the stamps do the work for you. And we're also going to use a punch tonight, but we're going to use a different one than I think we did for the first one. Hello. Glam Shop. The Glam Shop. How are you doing? So, so far, all we've used is cardstock. Designer paper, which is from the Sea of Silhouette designer paper. And now we have to stamp. Now I tried something because if you notice on this card, it's turned this way. But I wanted to use this for my friend sentiment. And it fits this way, but it's pretty tight. So I just turned it this way and I think it fits even better. Now this punch is in the mini catalog. It's the love Label Me Lovely punch. And that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it again for you on here. Let me get this bin out of the way here. And then we'll do our leaves and such. My chair is squeaking, sorry. <laughs> so let's do this again in Pacific Point. I'm doing pretty well. Tired of rain, but it could be worse. It could be 
blizzards or something. So I'm not going to complain. <laughs> And we'll go like this. Now, I could clean this on my chamois, but I'm going to use the Stampin' Mist first. Because, and actually, I might just put it on um, paper toweling. Because reds and blues both. Um, this is the Stampin' Mist stamp cleaner. I really like using this on the colors that um see how it just makes it pop up and then usually i put it on to my chamois to clean it but i don't like getting the the sudsy stuff on there right away now i will <laughs> just to get that little bit off down in the in the crevices so that stamp is really nice and clean now okay that works pretty well okay now let's try our punch now, I already did it, but I just wanted to show you. So, we're going to put it in, let's see which way, this way. So, the flat part is up where those things are. I'm going to go over just a little bit more. And maybe up a little more. There we go. And there we go. It is definitely a lovely label punch. Label me lovely, it's called. Okay. So, now, what I'm going to do... Next, before we put them on, is punch out some leaves. And I just have some scraps here of old olive. That's the color in here, old olive. So, yeah, you're, oh, you're in Texas. So is um, uh, left-handed crafter who was on. I don't know if she's still there or not, but. Okay, let's use this one of these other ones. <laughs> and we're going to try and get a third one out. Got it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I have um, somewhere my water spritzer. I thought I had it out. So this is a Stampin' Spritzer, and I'm going to get um, that paper towel again, but I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to spray these with water, because that's what allowed me to bend them easily without tearing the paper and give them a little dimension. And this is just water, but I'm going to get them pretty, pretty saturated. They'll dry pretty quick. <laughs> and we don't need them puddled but and then we're just going to take our thumbnail push them in and pinch and they don't have to be perfect because leaves aren't perfect in nature there's no ink on it so it's um it's fine it's not gonna hurt it or anything and just let them dry okay and then we'll take our label and what I did on the other one but it was laid out a little differently is I took glue dots and just put two up at the top Somehow I'm trying to get it angled right. That's not quite right. And one down here. I think that'll still work. So glue dot. But I think this time. And I put it on the front of the stem. Which I don't know if it'll hold because they're still a little bit damp. And I could dry it, but I don't want to get the noisy blow dryer out. So we'll put this one. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> wants to stick to me there we go okay I'm gonna put it on um, here this time I might put two on okay and just 
go like that. And like that. And there we go. And then we just get our dimensionals and pop it up. <laughs> yeah, it is a big state. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Okay. So that's going to go right here. I actually would like would have liked it. Well, maybe I can still do it. I'm going to move this one down just a little bit. I don't like that much stem showing. I just want the leaves to peek out. There we go. I got lucky. Sometimes you can't move them. Okay. And then we'll put that right here. And then we just need our bling. Got to have our bling. So, take your pick tool coming out with the putty, hopefully not too big. I mean, I'm going to pull that off a little bit and twist it so it doesn't, it might not stick like it did to the pearls as bad, but there we go. And we're using the smaller ones, so let's see. Put one here. I think we'll put a big one this time over here in this dark area. And I guess, hmm. No, no, let me think. Maybe one up here this time. And that's that. Except we have to do the inside. So. Looks a little bendy. I maybe should have put another uh, dimensional there. Anyway, I will do that later. So now we're just going to stamp. A flower or three. Actually, I put the stems on first. And I wasn't sure how that was going to look. But it looked all right. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Philomena. Got to have the bling. That's right. Got to have the bling. <laughs> Most of the time. So we're just going to put this in like this. That's old olive. That looks really dimensional. I'll clean them in a minute. And then I'm going to use Pacific Point. Sorry for the reach. And this beautiful flower. Let me see how I did it the last time. Put them down at the bottom of the stem. So we're going to do that again. Just like here. And then maybe here. And maybe here. I guess that's all right. So there's our inside of our card. And <laughs> you guys didn't stop me. I did the same thing. <laughs> so it's crooked again. <laughs> it's on that side. That looks all right though, right? I think so. I think so. We're going to go with it. Got to go with it. Well, I could flip it around and put it up here, but I, yeah, maybe we'll do that this time. <laughs> uh, or I could flip it over and do it again. But anyway, I do that sometimes. I forget the card is landscape. Mm. I've done that with sentiments. That I'd have to flip around. But we don't really need to since it's not a sentiment. We'll just have flowers hanging down from the sky. Oops. There we go. Those are really pretty flowers. I love that little flower. All right, card done. Card number two. Now I have to clean this little stamp again, and it's the blue, so I'm going to use my spray. Boom, instant foam up. Love it. And I'll just get that little bit extra off on my chamois, which I also love. And then the old olive, I don't really need the spray. I'm just going to use the chamois. Because it comes off pretty good. See? Pretty good. There we go. All right. 
Let me get these out of the way. And then we're going to show you some products before I go on to card number three. Um, yeah. Products that just came in the mail today. They are for Celebration 2, which starts March 3rd. But I was able to pre-order. And if you join my team, you could pre-order as well and get everything earlier than other people. Um, so let me show you something. You know, we were just using the Layered with Kindness, which is in the mini catalog. But in Celebration 2, there's another stamp set that you can get. Uh, I forget how many, much you have to purchase. I think it's a $100 purchase. Let me find out. Um, there it is. Because I have the Celebration 2 brochure, which will be effective for you guys um, starting March 3rd. And it's for... A $100 purchase, you can get another set that also coordinates with these punches, which are the label, lo label me lovely and the label me fancy, which we're going to use in the next card. Um, but I haven't had a chance to play with this because it just came today. The neat thing is, though, this one is photopolymer, by the way, and it has flowers that go around the edge of the um the punch or it has a fancy like a stitched stitching that goes around the punch so really neat stamp set and flowers and other squirrelies for the the other punch and then more sentiments so if you got this and you got the punches you may want to order enough to get this one so you have a couple sets that coordinate with the punches also Remember those dies from, um, let me, I have a catalog page here to show you, from the holiday catalog, the cup of Christmas with the reversible. Okay. Yeah. Liquid adhesive. Well, I was using Tombow tonight, but I use also our, our glitter glue sometimes. I didn't see what Terry typed, but she retracted it. Thank you, Terry. Anyway, uh, the Cup of Christmas dies carried over, not the stamp set from the holiday catalog. But they have another one coming out in Celebration 2. And it's called Rise and Shine. I love it. Um, I love it all, of course, you know. Um here it is in the book and it's also free with a hundred dollar purchase and it's a reversible just like the one was in the holiday catalog the cup of christmas so if you got the cup of christmas and the dies you might want to buy enough to get this that you can use for more general um coffee or tea make today amazing let's hang out soon that would be cute to send to a friend anyway so there's those. And then my favorite part, of course, the papers. They have a patterned vellum coming in purple posy, soft sea foam, and pool party. And it's, it's embossed. It's an embossed vellum. Really pretty. I can't wait to use this. If I had gotten it sooner, I would have tried to make something tonight with it. And then the piece de resistance. And I think that's with a $50 purchase in Celebration 2. And then we have foil paper, but it's not just one foil. It's rose gold and silver foiled. And you can color it with your blends and stuff. And then cut it out, fussy cut it out. So you get, let's see, one, two, three sheets of that. And then this is rose gold. Three sheets of that. Love this one. Can you imagine coloring that in? That would be so pretty. Or you can, I'm sure there's other techniques like spraying it or whatever. Three sheets of that. And this one 
I absolutely love its silver and gold, rose gold foil flowers. Yeah, the vellum is really pretty. This is too. <laughs> uh, vellum friendly adhesive, do tell. Anyway, this is Celebration 2. You cannot buy it. You have to buy, for this, you have to have a $50 purchase starting March 3rd to March 31. And the vellum, I think, is for a $50 purchase as well. You would add that onto your order as your free item. Yep, $50. And there is one other stamp set, but I didn't get it because I just didn't. It's a gentleman's well-dressed. You know, in the mini catalog, we have the well-dressed for the ladies with the perfume bottle and the lipstick and high heels and things. So they have one for the gentleman now, too, free with a $50 purchase. So that would be good for Father's Day, like they've used it here, or just anything for you the guys in your life so yeah that's that's it that's celebration too i got four out of the five things and um okay now on to our third card <laughs> equal opportunity <laughs> okay you love shiny things oh me too marla <laughs> welcome all right, guys. Now, the third card I don't have done. And I don't have it done because something else I just got today is available to you right now. And it is the Sending Flowers dies. They are for purchase. And they're meant to go with this celebration stamp set called Sending You Thoughts. It's in celebration now, which is for a $50 purchase. But here's what the die looks like. Isn't that cool? So, and, and then there's some label dies and some little flowers and, and tulipy looking flowers. But this is the main one. Now, this does not cut out. It cuts the flowers out. And I'll show you in a minute. And it cuts, um, it cuts into your paper, but it cuts the flowers out is what I'm trying to say. So you, let's just let me show you. <laughs> it's easier to show you than to explain. And um, here's what I'm talking about. Do you see how that, I have ink on my fingers. Um, if it cuts that pattern and they're, they're like notched. Oh, I have stuff all over me. So you could like pop them up if you wanted them to be up like a flower all the way around. But I'm not going to do that for right now. So what we're going to do, and I, I just cut this out of Whisper White regular cardstock, and I'm going to forget the measurements. Let me see. I actually cut it down. It's four and a half by four and a quarter. But we're going to pull out a piece of watercolor paper first, and we're going to watercolor with um, balmy blue and granny apple green. And then I have a piece of granny apple green cardstock. And then I have a piece of paper out of the uh, Please Just Punch. And we may use a couple of these flowers also out of that. But I use the back of the tulips has this green granny apple green on it. Oops, this way. So we're going to use that as a background. Right here. I have that ready. And then what we're going to do is put this, let's see which way, this way, here. And we're going to put this bumped up on top of that. But I'm going to have that with um, blue and green to make it look like sky and grass behind it. Okay. So that's the plan. Let's see if we can do it. And then we're going to do a um, punch thing. So I need my water brush. And I need... Balmy blue, which I don't think I have out yet. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Sorry. In front of me. All right. Balmy blue. I don't know if I can get that on here. Yeah, enough. I think I'm going to put that on a block instead. Um, 
because I don't feel like I get enough ink. All right, that's that's better. And we'll just do that first. This is the aqua painter. Let me make sure I have this situated the right way. I think so. Yep, this way. Okay. Square dancing later. Cool. That is so cool that you do that. All right. So we're just going to do easy watercoloring, you know, sky and grass. <laughs> On a watercolor paper. Now in the um, brochure that we got for this release, or probably online, they show it too. Um, it looked like they might have die cut this several times. We're going to go down a little bit more with the sky. Um and then colored the flowers in several times so it gave it dimension. But um, we're not going to do that. We're going to color our flowers with the blends. Okay, that's all we're going to do on that. Fresh paper towel. I'm going to wipe this off to get all the glue off. And then we can use the same block to put um, old olive on. A new goals journal. Oh, cool. For those of you who don't know, we're doing um, crafty goals with Amalia. And once a month, we have to report how we're doing with our goals. I mean, really, we're only accountable to us, but we're sharing it with you guys, which I think, and this is Granny Apple Green, by the way, not Old Olive, um, I think makes us feel even more accountable for getting stuff done but i don't know we'll see how it goes we're in month two we're doing good <laughs> only uh 11 months to go right including this month i'm gonna hold this up a little bit because well i'll turn it over do it that way Okay, where's that paper towel? I just use the same one. Just cleaning off my water brush till it runs clear. And then the block, which will need to be cleaned better later, but good enough for now. Okay, now let that dry a minute, but that's going to be pretty, right? But while that's drying, Let's color our posies. Um, actually, what do I do with my... Oh, here they are. Okay. So I figured we'd use these blends, which are Mango Melody Light and Dark, Calypso Coral Light and Dark. I don't know if I'll use all these. Um, Poppy Parade. And Granny Apple Green. So I think we're going to start with the Granny Apple Green. And we're just going to do the stems of the flower. Well, maybe we'll do the flowers first. So let's do Poppy Parade first. I'm going to go with the dark, the bright, the bright, bright colors. We'll just go with the bright, bright colors. There won't be much shading on these because actually this one I might do. Um, the light and then I'll put dark in the middle. Let's do another one of those while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of goals. I have like 19 goals, um, probably more like 20. And 
um, crafty goals, you know, things like use up so many 12 by 12 paper pads, use up so many small paper pads. Um, let's see, use up six rolls of washi, which I've already done by the way. Um, so I have to change that goal, I think, because that was the annual goal, you know, look for craft fairs and sign up for eight of them for my jewelry stuff. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of red in the middle of that Calypso coral. Maybe around the edges since I slipped over there. I think that'll be pretty. Yeah. And yeah, let's do a yellow tulip. I feel like I'm missing a color out of the green. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll do a light red little flower down here. I was thinking you could cut this multiple times out of um, different color papers and then just cut around here and that might give you the layered look too. Not sure, not sure. All right, so we need, mm -hmm. I guess a dark red again up top. No, but it totally could be, could be a shaker card. This one is not going to be though. Just going to be a scene, a, a dimensional scene. <laughs> We're going to make a scene. Let's see. I think another, <clears throat> maybe a light yellow up here. And down here, I think another red, dark red. I don't know. I'm trying to vary it, but I'm probably spending way too much time thinking it through. <laughs> and let's see. And the light, oops, light uh, Calypso Coral. Might just put a little bit of dark Calypso coral in the center of that one. And I guess another yellow over here. And then we'll do the stems. And then we'll try and assemble this thing. Good idea on the shaker. That might have to be what I do next with it. Just not, not plan that out. I'm going to use the dark um granny apple green because we're going to have light you know painted in the background so i want it to be able to show i think that's beautiful beautiful so this is the sending flowers dies they are available for purchase now in february through march 31st while supplies last There's a flower missing there. It's just a stem. <laughs> the tricky part is the flowers sort of bounce up when you're coloring them. And if you're not careful, you get it on the flower next to the other one. So you have to be a little bit careful. See, like I did there. 
But it's okay because it's going to be green anyway. Oops. I almost got it on the orange flower. We missed a spot there. So this sure reminds you of spring, right? Ready for spring. You can color the flowers any color you want. I mean, you can make them like purple posy and whatever you want. There we go. So this is going to go, our card base is going to go like this. This is Granny Apple Green. This is designer paper out of the Please Just Punch. Then we're going to glue the watercolor sheet down, hopefully centered. And then we're going to pop this up so it has a little dimension over that. And we could put a cloud in the sky or something too, but not tonight. <laughs> Uh-oh, the coloring police are coming. Uh-oh. Good quality markers won't do what? Thank you, Philomena. No, they're alcohol markers. They don't really warp the paper. Um, water coloring warps the paper and stuff. But the alcohol markers don't. They're equivalent to like um if i have to compare them like i did before to copics or spectrum noirs that kind of a marker <laughs> your your markers suck. <laughs> if, they, if they're dye based markers they might if you get them wet okay so we're gonna have to fiddle with this one and get it to lay flat but it's pretty dry now and I'm going to put that down right in the middle if I can this way. Okay. This was Stampin' Up's watercolor paper. I'll show you that in a minute. I mean, it's a, it's a brand that you can get elsewhere too, but hopefully if you need it, you can get it through me. <laughs> Just put it up a little bit. I'm going to turn that over and push it down real good. And while I'm doing that, let me get my watercolor paper. It is called Fluid 100. Whoops. 100% cotton. This is new this year at Stampin' Up. They had other watercolor paper, but it wasn't as good a quality. Now, I am not a watercolor expert, so don't ask me the difference other than this says it's 100% cotton. Okay, Nikki. Nice chatting. Have fun tonight. Okay, that's on pretty good. And now we're going to put this up on dimensionals, which might take a few. Then we have to do a sentiment yet. <laughs> now I have um, the foam strips I could use too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get a couple small dimensionals too and put them up here. The minis. The mini minis. Thank you, everybody, for the thumbs ups. I appreciate it. If you didn't, please do. Help my channel. Help me get more viewers so I can keep doing this. <laughs> All right, and two down here. I just feel like I need it to be secure. Okay, we're going to hope we do it. Hope we can do it. This is so pretty. Well, the other side is. <laughs> Nikki is newlywed. Just got married. So 
So. Hi, note spinner. Yes, it is live. Definitely live. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Let me get rid of all that. Well, I'll have to wait and get rid of those in a minute. Let's try and get this on. I'm going to stand up, guys, so I can try and get it on straight the first time. Oops. I have a thingy. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have to do the sentiment. And what I was originally thinking, I did one already, but let's see how it looks now that it's all colored. I was going to put it over here and put some white twine through the end here and put a little bow on. What do you think? That's if loving thoughts, or we could do a different sentiment. Um, actually, what I was going to do is take this granny apple green ribbon and go across here and then put that on. Maybe like right there. Maybe only put it across that part. Actual name is Luann. Hi, Luann. You like it with the ribbon or without the ribbon? Love the ribbon. Okay. And I think, though, just across to here. So... Let me cut that. I'm going to put a little extra just in case. Yeah, because you know me. <laughs> so I think it came out pretty. Very similar to what, oops, to what they did in the, and maybe they didn't do it more than once. I don't know, but it sort of looked like they did. So what I did on this is I stamped it in Memento Tuxedo Black um, and I punched it out with this punch, which is the, I forget, Label Me Fancy. And it punches this way. And then I punched it out again in Granny Apple Green Scrap like that. And you see it punches a hole. Well, you can, what I did then is I cut it in half. I glued it onto the back and I made sure I had enough room that I could punch that little hole. So you just stick your paper in, you know, just a little, just, well, it helps if you open the punch just enough. And then if you don't have another hole punch, you can either get that kind of a hole punch or you can get a long uh, punch for putting your ribbon through, which is nice for tags. So, and this can be a tag if you want it to be. So it's a great punch for, you know, versatile, versatile punch. Um, so I don't know that I need to do that again and take your time doing that. But we will go ahead and see if I got this straight enough. Let me get my snail. And I want it to go right about there. So I'm going to actually just put some snail over here. You could use um, mini glue dots as well to hold it. And I'm going to just put some over here. I hope that I got it straight. There. All right. And then I just have a little hanging off the edge, which I'm going to snip. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the twine in here and put a bow on before I glue it put that down with dimensionals. Let me just get a piece of twine, make a little bow. Paige is away today, but she said she'll rewatch. She um, emailed me. Yeah, we're missing Paige. <laughs> She's being grandmom today and doing some other stuff with her family so <laughs> what 
which is nice that she's getting to do that. She has a lot going on in her life right now. So anyway, all right, I got that way too long. I don't want it nearly that long. So I think that'll look cute right there. She might cut that down a little bit and we're going to partially glue it and partially add dimension. I might, hmm, might move that up just a tad. It covers some of the flowers, but like that. So dimensionals. <laughs> All right. And we're just, I could glue it down, but I don't want to because of the flowers. So let me see. I'm going to put them over here. Let me see how that's going to go. I guess I'll put one here too. It won't hurt the flowers that much. Paige! <laughs> Somebody just said we were missing you. I just said, yes, you were being a grandmom today and spending time with family. Yay! Thank you. This is the third card. Yes, you definitely have to watch the replay and see some of the new things that are coming out for celebration in March. This is available now. This is called the Sending, uh, Sending Flowers Dies. And they go, they're meant to go with the Sending You Thoughts celebration stamp set. Um, but this is the die that I used on Whisper White. And then we did watercoloring behind it. We used our Stampin' Blends to color the flowers. The die does not cut it out. It just um, puts a design in the, in the paper, if you can see it, see? And then for this, I used the Sending You Thoughts, but I also used the, whoops, Label Me Fancy Punch. All right, and then we have to do something on the inside, of course, because we just have a blank there. I don't know what I did with the other sheet of white paper I had. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I put it up here with my dimensionals. There we go. So this is just going to go in here. And let's see. Let me clean up some stuff here. I have... You'd be better already. And I think we'll just stamp that in Memento Tuxedo Black as well. What did Mar Marla say? I'm glad you made it home safely, Paige. And I'll bring all the cards out in a minute and show you. And I don't know, we might want to put a posy or something on that inside here, too. I have to stand up. Oh, I got that one pretty straight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, there are some little dies um, of flowers. But, oh, I know what we'll do. Maybe we'll just punch... We'll use our Thoughtful Blooms Punch from the Celebration Now. And our Pleases Punch. And since we use Calypso Coral and Mango Melody, maybe we'll just punch a couple of them out and stick them on the inside. We could even put one of them up here or something if like that. Let's see if I can get a Mango Melody. I need one closer to an edge that's not cut off. Ah. Well, you know what? It's all right. We'll just put it in the corner and it'll be cut off. Maybe. Here's what I'm trying to do. Oops. <laughs> okay, so we could actually just go like that. And that. We need a third one now, huh? Maybe put that under that. And we'll do another Calypso Coral.
There we go. I'm not sure I'm really loving that, but it's flowers. Um, I know what we could do. We could get a strip of that paper. See, this is kind of winging it, guys. We could put a strip of that paper down there and then put the flowers on it. Just about a half inch, maybe three quarter. And that's from the Pleases Punch also. Same as we used on the front of the card. So I think we'll do that. And then maybe put this over this way. And cover up that flat spot <laughs> like that, something like that. Can you see it? I think that looks good. Yeah, that's probably why I like them. <laughs> flower child flowers, I don't know. I wasn't really a flower child. I kind of came in on the tail end of the 60s. Um, my brother was more into the 60s than me because he's older than me. But, but if I had to be anything in the 60s, I probably would have been a flower child. Flowers in my hair. I did wear flowers in my hair. <laughs> I still do that sometimes if I'm taking a walk and I come across a pretty wildflower. I might just pick it and put it in my hair. Something I like to do. Okay, and um, I'm going to use the just a little bit of glue on these. And I'm going to do it more just in the center because I might need to slide. Well, this one's going to go over the top of that, so it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Therese. How are you doing? I have to, I'm trying to figure out how to, there we go, cover up sort of that flat spot a little bit. And this one I want to tuck under. Mm. Okay, well, that's going to have to do. There we go. Fingers are a little sticky, but there we go. You get the idea. And then we'll just glue this in. Now you could also mat this on that other paper, but it's so close in color to the Granny Apple Green, I didn't really feel like I needed to do that. Alrighty, there is our final card for the night. And Marla brought up, we could make that into a beautiful shaker. So maybe next time, but I think it's pretty the way it is. Might need some bling up here or something, but I don't know what I want to put there. So I'm not going to do that right now. So let me bring, um, get some of these things out of the way and bring all the cards in that we did. <laughs> Too much stuff on my desk. Okay. What time are we at? We did good. We did good. Thank you. So that is the third card using the Sending Thoughts stamp set and the Sending Flowers dies that coordinate. The dies can be purchased. The stamp set is uh, free with a $50 purchase through March 31st or while supplies last. This was the second card that we did. I did this before the live and we did this one together. I really do think I need another dimensional right there. I'm going to do that right now because it's bugging me. <laughs> it is bugging me. I'm just going to lift. Nope. Hang on. Nope. Surgery, surgery. There is one there, but it's kind of, there we go. Perfect. That's perfect now. 
Okay. Um, this is a very easy card to make. So watch the replay and see how we did that. And that's using the Sia Silhouette Designer Paper in the Annual Catalog. And then this was the first card that we made. These were the ones I made before um, the live. But I really like the, the last one the best, which we used the button button embossing folder, the follow your art designer series paper, the stitch so sweetly um, dies from the mini catalog, the seriously the best stamp set for all of these. Hello, friend, and thanks. There's another one also that says congrats, but I didn't use that tonight. We also used the little kit that comes with the, um, that you can get for the follow your art. And we were thinking of using this, but we ended up not. We used the twine instead, the little thread stuff that was in the kit in Calypso Coral. And on this one, Pacific Point. And then we colored some pearls with our dark Calypso coral and put them on this one. And then this one used the um, Noble Peacock in Coastal Cabana, I think. I forgot already. Um, no, I'm sorry. The Holiday Rhinestone Jewels in Coastal Cabana. And we used a couple different felt pieces on that one. So those are our cards for tonight. I think it was a great time. Thank you, Philomena. Thank you, Paige. What about Fabritac? Uh, yeah, somebody told me Faber, the other Faber or something is better than Fabritac, but I don't think I have either one. <laughs> Well, I think the ones that make the money are the ones that design the stamp sets and stuff. <laughs> but thank you very much. Oh, sorry you're late to the party. It's okay. So, Paige, do you want me to quick show you the stuff I showed earlier for Celebration 2? You're going to love it. Or do you want to just go back and watch the replay? That might be better. So we don't take everybody else's time. So if you like my cards, give me a thumbs up. If you watch, like watching me make them, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you don't, don't watch. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, please show them. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. I got to find them all again. Okay. Here's one of them. Okay. So for these two cards, we were using the punches label me lovely punch and on this one we use the label me fancy punch which are in the mini catalog and they um the stamp set we were using was layered with kindness which is in the mini catalog so we used happy birthday and for for my friend and this one was sending thoughts which is in celebration but in Celebration 2, there's another stamp set free with $100 purchase. It's two, uh, it's 19 stamps, but they're photopolymer and they have flowers around the label. So it's going to be really beautiful. This, I just got it today because as a demonstrator, you can buy things early. Um, you can't buy this when it's Celebration time. Um, you have to order other stuff to get it, but this is going to be fun. I wish I had gotten it earlier. I could have played with that tonight as well. So there's that, which coordinates with those same punches. And then um, I showed these, but in the, in the holiday catalog, you'll remember Cup of Christmas. Well, this retired, but the dies are still on the website. They're called Cup of Cheer Dyes. So for Celebration 2, starting March 3rd, there's another stamp set that coordinates. It's also reversible. And it's more like everyday uh, coffee and tea statements and cuter designs here and little circles here that you could put your coffee or tea in or rise and shine or XOXO, whatever you want, or flowers <laughs> or hearts. 
make cute little cups. So that would be fun. And the dies are still on the website available. So that's one thing. And then there's some patterned vellum. I'm sorry, embossed vellum in purple posy, soft sea foam, and pool party. And you get two sheets of each. That's for a $50 purchase. And then, <laughs> is she drooling yet? Celebration 2. Um, I only have one catalog, but it will be, you'll just have to wait until March 3rd, and then it'll be online. Clay, there's five things in it, which I showed you four of. And the other thing, um, I just got this today myself. But I was, a, I was able to order early. And the only other thing in it that I don't have is this well-dressed stamp set for $50. Um, free with, per, I'm sorry, free with a $50 purchase. So the vellum is also free with 50. The tags in bloom stamp sets free with 100. And then the back just gives you a summary of all the celebration items from the first brochure. And then here's the Rise and Shine, free with 100. And what I'm going to show you now is free with 50. And this is called Flowering Blooms, I think. Hang on. Flowering, Flowering Foil Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's rose gold and silver foil. Thank you so much. I forgot your name already. I'm so sorry. And it's way up there somewhere. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us and watching. And this paper, some of the demos they've been showing, you can color these flowers in. And they're just gorgeous with the foiling. So you get three sheets of that one. This one's only rose gold. This would make a nice background. This one I love too for coloring it in or not. When I stayed in Singapore in a hotel, there was a hotel that had sort of uh, outside great work kind of thing, like in concrete or something that was sort of this design. And then this is my all time favorite in this pack. And that's these little flowers in copper and silver foil. Just beautiful. Now she's drooling. <laughs> I thought you'd like the foiled paper. <laughs> so those are the four I have. And then there's that well-dressed, um, that well-dressed. That's They're all going to be added to celebration. So stay tuned for goodies made with those in the near future. I hope you enjoyed tonight. I had planned to do one other uh, stamp set, but I'm going to have to do a separate video on that sometime when I have time because I already have my next month or two planned <laughs> um, for, for the Tuesday Night Lives. So I'm so glad this came today, though, and that's why we couldn't get to the other stamp set I was going to do um, because this came today and I just had to use it. <laughs> so we watercolored the background. We cut uh, this is paper from the Please Dis Punch and then um, cut this down so some of that would show and bumped it up on dimensionals. So the little flowers have have movement. So cute. I could also see, oh, I just got an idea. I shouldn't tell anybody. I think I would put a little critter here maybe next time. Mm, wouldn't that be cute? Like a little raccoon or not a koala bear, but... <laughs> Some kind of little fox. Uh, no, I don't know. Some kind of little, little kitty. Maybe a little kitty. Anyway. So those are the cards for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs ups, everybody. And um, I'll be talking to you again soon. I am not going to even say when these will be out on my blog. Because I'm so far behind on my blog at this point. I just don't know. Thank you, Clay. All right, everyone, I'm going to get off of here. I have to go cook dinner for my son for when he gets home later. Have a wonderful week. Today's Tuesday. Next time I'll see you, we'll probably be on the, I don't know if I'll be on before the 15th. Definitely the 15th, two times. 16th, one time. 
And then the 18th is Tuesday again, but I also have having fun making jewelry on the 18th and then the live next week. So thank you, Paige. Thank you, Clay. Have a good evening. See you next time. Hugs, love, and peace. Oops. I'm just typing in my statement here. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Good night.